Hi, my name is Ben Richards, and I'm the Business and Communication Librarian at Cleveland State University. This will be a short video about the industry reports available through Standard & Poor's NetAdvantage. These reports are detailed profiles of sectors of the U.S. and other economies. The trends covered generally focus on larger companies. First, I will show you how to access industry reports, and then I will briefly discuss the contents of the reports. To start, point your browser to library.csuohio.edu and then click on Research Databases. From the alphabetical list, locate Standard & Poor's NetAdvantage. Now if you're off campus, you will be required to sign in using your CSU ID number your name, and library PIN. NetAdvantage's homepage shows a sort of dashboard. There's a search bar where you can search for company, fund, person, and other entities. And you'll also notice navigation tabs across the top of the page. Standard & Poor's NetAdvantage provides company, stock, fund, and executive information. The industry surveys we will look at today are just a small subset of the information that's available on this platform. To access the industry reports, click on Industry Surveys. The easiest way to access the surveys is by simply selecting an industry from the drop-down menu. Then click Search. You will be taken to a page that shows you the most recent reports in that industry. The surveys, do, the surveys that do not indicate geography cover the U.S. market. Click on the PDF icon to open the report. Here, you'll note that the date the industry survey was published and the authors of the survey are on the title page. The industry surveys that are produced by CFRA and Standard & Poor's NetAdvantage will include a combination of the following. A brief industry snapshot or executive summary, a breakdown of financial metrics for the industry sector, an outlining of key drivers for the industry and a discussion of internal industry trends, a discussion of how the industry works, and a framework for analyzing companies within the industry. Key statistics or company metrics may also be included. The industry financial metrics section will cover things like industry revenues, earnings, valuation, and sometimes things like assets and mergers and acquisitions. The industry trends section will cover more qualitative trends taking place within the industry. This might include things like the operating environment, how companies compete within the industry, regulations that impact the industry, and other topics like customer trends, distribution trends, etc. The How the Industry Operates section will cover more structural or analytical aspects of the industry. Oftentimes the industry will be broken into segments, as you see here, with trucking and railroads being discussed separately. The key industry ratios and statistics gives you specific metrics to pay attention to in the industry to keep tabs on the industry's performance and individual companies' performance. The how to analyze a company in this industry will give you a more detailed framework of how you can look at a company when analyzing their performance. This section will discuss both quantitative factors, sometimes related to financial disclosures from the company, as well as qualitative factors. There is a helpful glossary section to help understand industry jargon, a references section, which gives you research resources to follow up on, and last, a comparative company analysis that will cover specific high-performing publicly traded companies operating within the industry.
As you can see, there is a lot of very useful information in the CFRA industry surveys available through NetAdvantage. Remember, there are more detailed industry reports located in the IBIS World database, also available through the Michael Schwartz Library.